Here we are once again, folks. It's been such a pleasure. This is Team Fortress 2. This is the gameplay commentary, and we're talking payload Badwater attacking. So typically when we're, well, when I'm attacking at least, I like to pop out this left gate here, or even that gate over there, and just drop my sentry, scoot back in, and come out the other side. That way my sentry is being a little bit of a distraction so I can get a little bit of a push typically my team is up here the scout and I are on the cart because remember in payload in Koth and in CP all you need is three bodies or technically with the scout two bodies on the point or cart to cap at its max rate technically you could have a Solly on here with I think it's the escape plan so either way Sully with escape plan and NG or NG and scout whatever your team decides to do it's typically me and the scout so we push through the tunnel sentry going up. drop sentry before or after the cart sometimes I'll push up here drop my sentry right there and once we cap first, I'll drop my sentry right here so it's getting some chip damage. Drop dispenser. And if I can get up here, assuming that there isn't a sentry there or it's being distracted by something else, I'll grab the ammo, come up, drop my sentry so that's being a little bit of it, more of a distraction. And then by the time we cap second, and the cart's a little bit ahead of second, by the way, I'm running Frontier Justice, Wrangler, and Gunslinger at this point. My gun will typically be up here. Mini Sentry, at least, will be up here. I'll have a dispenser right there behind the barricade. And I'll just wrangle just to annoy the sniper. Because typically the sniper will watch from... <clears throat> Like right here, so you see he has a great sight line, but um, <clears throat> as long as the sniper can see even just a little bit of that area, I can see his feet. But if he's way back here, I mean that's not doing anything, so I can't see him. But as long as he can see this this portion, this deck as I'm going to call it, um, I can wrangle my sentry and get some chip damage on him. Really, I'm only up there to piss off the sniper and annoy him a little bit. So, moving straight along, by the time we cap second, what I typically like to do, I'm going to have to run back to spawn to do this. Uh, what I like to do is typically or sorry not once we cap second once we cap third I'll um <clears throat> pull my teleporter up so it's near our forward spawn which is that garage door just to the left or just in front of second depending on how you're looking at it Telly will be right there of course, because where else could the teleporter go? Uh, dispenser right here. Sometimes I'll have my dispenser up here, building, whatever. And then, as a fun tactic, what I typically like to do is... Yeah, yeah, I can't build my teleporter. Now I can. Teleporter coming right so teleporter goes there. Or it'll be over here by this bucket. Typically I like to keep my dispenser in this door just so I have it as a warning sign. Sentry going up. 
century in this. <clears throat> in that there, so that way when they come around the corner, they're getting chipped. Although, or, or they're getting killed. But sometimes the Solly can stand back here and pick off the sentry. So, <clears throat> you just have to be wary about that. Sometimes I'll set my sentry up in here. So, setup might look a little something like this. I mean, I'll have it down there. Dispenser right there, and then I'll have a teleporter in this corner right here. It depends on what's happening. Sometimes I'll push my sentry forward. I'll have it on this ledge. I'll have it down there in that corner. But that's typically if I'm getting aggressive. I don't usually use that in scrims because I don't get the chance to. Also, if I'm getting aggressive, I'll just go back to playing uh, Combat NG. And I'll just drop the minis. Remember that the mini, if you're running away, the mini is your best friend. Because it can provide that little bit of cover for you, that little bit of delay. So I'll just, I'll drop a mini, jump over it, run away. If that goes down, drop a mini, jump over it, run away some more. And if people are dumb enough to focus the sentry, I'm usually able to get back to spawn. Now, if there's a demo, a Solly, and a heavy there, heavy will take down the, the mini and the Solly and, um, demo will typically give chase sometimes what I like to do is if my team has the cart down there and things are clear I'll um I, I can't get in there now but I typically like to try and go through that room and uh <clears throat> I'll pop out those windows and try and come up the stairs and just torture people a little bit with a mini sentry. A little bit of mini sentry spawn camping. Like a, like the other strategy with the Incoming. sentry up there or in tires. I don't usually get to use that because I don't get the chance to build it up. So With that if you have any ideas for strategies for bad water, let me know in the comments. Until we meet again, it's a matter of good gaming.